Dave Newman from the Hearing Connection is joining us tonight. Welcome, Dave. Hi, Jody. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Good. Okay, so what are we talking about tonight? Well, today what we're going to be talking about is there is, people think hearing loss is just one thing, but it actually it comes in kind of three components. There, there's, from a technical standpoint, there's a conductive hearing loss, there's a mixed hearing loss, and a centrineural hearing loss. So all three of those are different forms of hearing loss. And so I just want to kind of talk to people about what a conductive hearing loss is and really what a uh, centrineural hearing loss is. And we'll, we're going to kind of catch on the mixed hearing loss also. But a conductive hearing loss, basically uh, conductive hearing loss can be just like if you have like fluid, you know, an inner ear infection, um, allergies, ruptured eardrum or earwax, that can create that can create a hearing loss. And a lot of times those can just by, if it's just wax related, that's, that's a conductive hearing loss. Um, then a centrineural hearing loss is more of the, the inner ear. So you have the outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. And the inner ear can be, is called what we call centrineural hearing loss. And that can be basically, can, different things can affect it. You know, if you are going under um, cancer treatment, um, ototoxin drugs can create a centrineural hearing loss. They can be temporary or it could be permanent. Um, you could have a, a workplace or a recreational accident like a blast or explosion, a firecracker. That can create a centrineural hearing loss. So there's different things that can create a centrineural hearing loss. And sometimes just the fact of aging can also do the same thing. Um, then there is the mixed hearing loss, which is a combination of a centrineural hearing loss and a conductive hearing loss. And that can be from a genetic, genetic disorder or head trauma or um, an infection can create a mixed hearing loss. And that's where you'd have a combination of both. So really, if people are struggling with that, they need to go see their doctor and get a diagnosis and then maybe go see an ear, nose, and throat doctor. And then if that, then that may re relate to a hearing test. Well, Dave, I appreciate you today because a lot of people think that you just provide hearing aids and those kind of hearing tests. So you gave us a good variety of things that yes. we need to see about. Thanks okay, for thank joining you. us tonight. You bet. Thanks, Jody. Okay, take care.